Hello, folks. Well, you know, I'm not much into the FPV stuff, and especially the racing stuff, however, I've seen some pretty amazing videos. Uh, it takes quite a talent to do that FPV racing. So as I mentioned in my last video, GearBest.com sent me this JJ Pro racing drone. And I, I'm going to turn this into a three-part uh, video because this is all new stuff to me. Uh, I'm an old-fashioned line-of-sight guy, and for, so I need to see. I can tell when it's moving, when it's doing this. But when I'm in it, it's kind of hard for me to get that reference, as many of you professional guys can actually do. So bear with me here as I try to explain what this thing is and what it came with. Uh, it's completely ready to fly. There's just a couple of items here. First of all, it's got a very nice camera on the front. Let me pull this lens off so you can see the lens. Um, I'm a little concerned about this high angle of attack. Uh, that's like if you're racing, you're racing like this. That's pretty serious stuff. I'm not going to be doing that for a while. So it says you can move the camera down. However, it looks like I'm going to have to move the receiver back in order to aim that camera down. But in the meantime, I'm just going to give you an overview of what I see here so far. It's really well built and strong. It looks really good. There's four, uh, I think there are about 20 amp speed controllers on here. And these Emax motors, from what I've read and heard about, they're uh, 2300 kV. They are very powerful motors, so this thing ought to be an absolute weapon. Um, and what, what I see is uh, a pretty well built unit for sure. Well, what it came with, and, and as you see right here is an XT60 connector, and there's a belt strap on the bottom for connecting the battery. Uh, they've put a small fiber plate here so that you can set your battery on top of that and kind of protect it. And I imagine this piece of Velcro would put that on there so it's going to hold better. Okay, um, the antenna right here, um, the receiver is right here, and it came with its own radio. The controller is in here. So on the transmission unit for the video, it says 5.8 5 and 48 channel. So that means this thing's probably going to be able to use channels on most FPV goggles. Uh, you'll be able to, to join up with that. The receiver is a six channel receiver. Well, this is your receiver antenna. Um, I'm going to be using the new JJ Pro Vision goggles. I'm going to make a separate video on that and show you how to do that. I do know that these goggles do not have any way of doing any recording, uh, but they're so inexpensive and they're really nice. They've got nice plush uh, faceplate on it here, so we're going to be able to test out and I'll make a separate video on that pretty soon. But let's just continue to talk about this machine. Uh, the nice thing is it's completely set up and ready to go. Um, it came with a 1500 milliamp battery. This is a 30C 11.1 volts. Um, from what I've read, this machine will actually run on a 14.8 volt battery, which I've, I can just can't even imagine how fast that thing could possibly be. Uh, but it also came with a charger. This charger is a JJ Pro charger, just a, a simple charger. It charges maximum at 800 milliamp an hour. As you can see, it has ports for two or three cell batteries. And uh, there's your line. It plugs in with a simple you know, connector like that. Also, it came with uh, two sets of props. Right here is one set I haven't opened, and this set I've opened. This is interesting. It has some very high-tech digital camouflage on them, and uh, they go on here. came with two black nuts for counter-rotating and two silver nuts for uh, clockwise rotation. That way, so when it spins, it tightens no matter what. It tightens against the uh, prop so it won't come off in flight. But the unit looks very strong. The arms are carbon fiber and as you can see it came with a couple of spare arms here and this is just, uh, these are really strong so that ought to be quite a good thing because I'm going to probably need that when I crash into something. Right here are three LEDs. I don't know what color they are or what they're going to look like when I turn it on but this is what it looks like right now. So another thing I can tell you about is that they didn't come with any directions whatsoever. Uh, it came with this little manual which shows basically what the switches do on the left side of the transmitter. We've got a switch here. Uh, 
one, switch position one says angle, switch position two says horizon, and switch position three says manual. I'm not sure what that means, uh, but I guess we're gonna find out. On this switch, I think one, if you lose it, and uh, you crash and you can't find it, you can throw that switch up and that will turn on a beeper so it beeps, because as you can see right here is a little beeper, okay? And then I think position three down turns the lights off. It's got digital switches. I've already put the batteries in it. It takes four uh, AA batteries. You've got your trainer port right here. And um, the controls feel pretty good. It's nothing fancy, but turn it on and there you can see what, what that looks like. Um, got a good feel to it. Switches all feel good. Uh, I don't know where center is. That's kind of a strange thing, but we'll find that out too. Anyway, that's your transmitter it came with. EM16, it's called. Okay. Um, it has auto calibration mode for beginners as well as full manual mode for expert pilots, but uh, I'm neither of those. <laughs> I'm really a below beginner on these FPV racing quads, so... Okay, this angle of attack on the camera is quite intense. I can turn that down, but in order to move that camera to be more in line with the flight, I'm going to have to move this receiver back, and it's just connected in there with a, a zip tie. So uh, they did give extra zip ties, so we can actually clip that off and move that receiver back a little bit. Also, it came with this amount right here. I've already assembled it. It has, the uh, way this wing works, I've got the screws loose. This goes down on here on the top like this. And my intent is to take this and uh, make this wide enough, and I'm gonna mount my uh, Mobius camera on there because it's more aerodynamic. And now I will go drill a couple of holes. Okay, now I can move that camera where I want. All right, that slides in there like that. And if I put this on here, I should be able to tighten that down. Your best has got these for $208.25. I gotta tell you, for the camera, the quality motors, the quality speed controllers, the battery, the whole shebang, this is quite a good uh, deal. Uh, let's hope it flies as good as it looks. All right, let's take a look at the goggles. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I added a pointer within the camera view for a good point of reference and to also keep track of the front when I'm flying non-FPV to trim it. So check out the next video on JJ Pro Goggles and then we're going to fly it.